Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and talked to Maya, we had a depressing chat, and basically she was just like, I'm guilty, I'm 100% guilty, it's all my fault, but we don't believe that for a second. Maya could never hurt a fly. And in this episode, we're just gonna go ahead and move around the Fey Manor and see if there's anyone we can talk to. Ooh, June 20, Fay Manor, Winding Way. Little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school. Ooh, you can immediately notice a difference here. June 20, Fay Manor, Side Room. I'll stop reading those out so much. Oh, hey, like, you're that guy from yesterday, the, uh, dentist guy? No, no, I'm a lawyer. That's right, um, Mr. Smith, Esquire? That's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is right. Smith, right. Well, I got, like, three letters at least. I don't think she gets the point. Anyway, why are you here? So, like, I study this thing called parapsychology at, at this college, and uh, you told me about that yesterday. The sesame allergy, too. What I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Uh, so like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. I already have a horrible habit with saying um, uh, and like over and over. Voicing this character is just absolutely going to destroy, like, ah, there it is, there it is again. It's absolutely going to ruin me in terms of filler words. S sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why did you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? If Lada ever wanted another genuine mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. <sighs> she is... A lot of... Like weird people that we have to deal with here. Luckily, with this case, they're not, like, they're not necessarily annoying weird. It's just, oh, gosh, you're just a handful, aren't you? Would you take a look at this? Hey, it's, like, one of those little badges people in Congress all wear? No, 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 I'm a lawyer. L-A-W-Y-E-R. Like, so is that what you are? Just nothing else from that. Um, this face, and we've already seen this dialogue. So, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like what? Like, that medium's training, or like, how they inherit their spiritual power. I suppose this village is the real thing, after all. So, like, if I... I asked if I could stay here for, like, a little longer. She sure seems like the carefree type, at least. On the surface. Kind of butchered that line, but it's fine. Have you heard about the murder? It's, like, totally scary. Wait, Phoenix, you know that she heard about the murder. You were there when she heard about the murder. She says with a si Wait, you told her about the murder! What <laughs> At first I was thinking about the, uh, Morgan Fay conversation that she has, and then I was like, wait, no, you walked into this room, told her about the murder, and now you're asking if she's heard about the murder. Maybe Phoenix is just so stressed out and so tired from this case that his brain is just turned to mush. She says, with a silly smile plastered on her face, so, do you know anything about it that might help? Somehow, I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. About the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, I think you asked about him, like, yesterday, too. That's right. Her reaction yesterday was... When I asked, was... 
You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? It's not exactly what Dr. Gray said. Huh? Well, uh, like a long, long time ago, I was like a patient. Yeah. Okay, she is definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Something's wrong, all right. It's standing right in front of me. Huh. Now where did this box come from? I'm sure this wasn't here last night. It looks like a box for storing clothes. But it's pretty big for just clothes. It's mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of Chandlin costume sit at the bottom. I'm sure everyone else has already mentioned this before, but I love how Phoenix is just saying this out loud in front of another person. Just monologuing about it right next to her. Ah! You surprised me! And how are you today? Hmm. I guess she isn't open to friendly chatting. Huh? She's still holding something in her hand. It looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Here, take that. Oh yeah, Maya said to give this to you. Ah! I'm in trouble now. If Morgan sees us like sees us like this, I'll be the one, next one they're channeling. Uh, that's that's Mystic Maya's. Huh? Sh she actually spoke. Who are you? Uh, I'm Phoenix Wright. I uh worked with Maya. You worked with Mystic Maya? You you're Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me. I bet I know who she picked up Nick from. Clearly, Larry. I know who you are. You're... You're Mystic Maya's... Special someone. What? What? So then, of course. You're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do, right? Well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow. It's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest look shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. What? Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Ah, what a wonderful relationship. W wait, I, I... I mean, we aren't... Things are like... <laughs> I can tell you're a good person. Alright, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. She's absolutely adorable. And I'm trying to do my highest possible voice that I can do. It might not be fitting, and I might need to change things up uh, in the future to make it sound better, but we're getting there. I'm sure it is helpful to you in some way, but I'm still in training, so I don't know anything about it. I'm really deeply sorry. No, 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 it's okay. I shouldn't have shown you something so trivial anyway. I'm very sorry. This feels so weird talking to a kid like this. To tell you the truth, I really want to grow my hair out, just like Mystic Maya. But my mother won't let me. Your hair now suits you quite well, though, I think. R really Th thank you yeah. <laughs> Pearl, are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be just like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow, I had no idea Maya was so... revered. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Uh, oh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because... because... you're special to her. Where in the world did you get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes, for example, I studied the Karine technique. Ah, I get it. No, 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 I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. Liar? Yep. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? Uh, none that I know of. 
Wait, are you telling me that you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Maya did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. So what's that you've got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Hmm. If you want it, I can give it to you. Sure. Alright. Well, if you really want to give it to me. <laughs> you look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one, as one too. Black key added to the court record. Um, Mr. Nick? Hold on, Pearl, I need to read through this description. Old seal key. Green jewel is in the center of the key's grip. Yes, Pearls? I can call you that, right? You're too cute to just call you Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy. Please take this. I'm sure it will be helpful. What do you mean? It will let you see people's... It will let you see people's secrets. See people's... Secrets? Yes. If it's all right with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magatama's power to you while we meet somewhere... Someone hiding a secret. Well, I know someone hiding a secret. Thankfully, she's just in the other room. Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Ah, she's like totally cute. Is she like your daughter? W what? No! How old do you think I am? So she was hiding what she was hiding the secret in this talk option, the victim. I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I like totally don't know. <laughs> ah! What is that? You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on that person's heart. Uh, huh? What? This is the power of the Magatama. Only you can see these psyche locks, Mr. Nick. Psyche locks, huh? The more someone wants to hide their secret, the more locks you will see. If it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? Please use Mystic Maya's Magatama on this person, and let's remove the lock. I have no idea what she's talking about, but I guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it'll hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Well, I've got to start somewhere. Let's give the Psyche Lock thing a try. So I'll go ahead and just show this off. We don't have the thing we need to do this yet, but I'll just show how this works. You go ahead and go to the Magatama. The victim. Eeny miny, I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? Well, it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person. I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I should try to show that the possibility existed for now. Hmm. So something that shows a possible connection between Eni and Dr. Gray. We don't really have that yet. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. So we're going to come back later, and uh, once we can establish a connection, we'll be able to break that lock. It's very interesting. It's something that they uh, sort of introduced for the rest of the series is Psyche Lock stuff. And it's always super fun, at least in my opinion. Hey, it's you, pal. So you're going to be a lawyer, I bet. Yes. Oh, I really feel bad for you, pal. 
Just this once, I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a cute kid. <laughs> I'm not scary, honest. Wow, I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. How's this? It's a real, genuine pistol. Detective Gumshoe, what are you doing showing her something that dangerous? Oh, sorry. Uh, Gumshoe is being Gumshoe, as always. Attorney's badge. Hey, look, it's my attorney's badge. <laughs> good one, pal. You're always good for a laugh with your little badge. But a real man, a real man has a police badge. Uh, um, Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? I was wondering if I could see it too. Uh, no, it's okay. It's not that important anyway. Boy, do I look scary in this picture. I guess if I want people to stop thinking cops are scary, I have to change myself. Gotta smile. Gotta smile. There's that classic gumshoe goofy smile again. Ah oh, man, gumshoe is the absolute best. He also has an awesome theme. What about Maya and, her ch and the charges against her? I don't think you could win, pal. If you're talking about proof, we've got a few pieces. You've got proof? Yeah, pal. That buffy-haired photographer is going to testify tomorrow. He must be talking about Lada. Actually, speaking of Lada... I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Lada's hot pictures. I wonder what her camera captured. Besides, you must have realized by now, pal. <clears throat> There's no way anyone other than Maya Faye could have done it. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? About Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. His face was all over those tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year and, uh... Huh? I could have sworn I had... I cut an article out, but I guess I must have lost it. Searching through his pockets. Boy, are those big. Hmm. It looked really interesting, too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? Copy of that article? I think Dr. Gray might have brought a copy to the office when he came by. About Maya's trial tomorrow. I got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. Alright, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is Prosecutor Von Karma. What? Prosecutor Von Karma? Manfred Von Karma. He was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. He never lost a case in the 40 years of his career, and he raised a fearsome disciple. Horrible aftertaste of the evil he force-fed me is something I'll never forget. Wait a second. But didn't Von Karma stand trial and... That's when the other piece of bad news comes in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. Successor? So, um, who's this successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal. It's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. This kid became a prosecutor real young, like 13, and hasn't lost a trial since. That's what they call a prodigy, pal. Hmm. Kid, huh? Wait a second. 13? The kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13? I mean, a prodigy like that... I would have heard something about... Oh, no, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. That country's got a lot of stuff and is a great place to develop a person's talents. Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Ugh. Still, all it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma. And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. Stop it! Get over it, Phoenix. That person is already gone. So Gumshoe mentioned that... 
he wanted to see an article, and Phoenix mentioned that it was the one that uh, Dr. Gray brought over. Let's go ahead and show it to him. Um, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day, and... Hey! It's that news story! The one about the malpractice suit! Fourteen patients died, and it caused a huge stink. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm. Oh, here we go. I brought my own clipping with me today. Here, pal. This is for you. Alright, thanks. Newspaper clipping 2 added to the court record. Let's see what it's all about. Mimi Miney, nurse at Gray Surgical Clinic, died after falling asleep at the wheel. So, there's a connection between Eeny Miney and Dr. Gray, is this mysterious Mimi Miney. Uh, and that's where the pun comes in with uh, Eeny and Eeny Miney's name. So they're Eeny Mimi Miney. Anyways, now it's time to break your lock. So we already read through this stuff, so we can quickly skip through it. The connection between you and Dr. Gray. Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Please read the victim's name. Um, Mimi Miney? Miney is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Miney wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? So you noticed. She was my older sister. I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister. Was she a nurse? Perhaps at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? Gray's surgical clinic. I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim. Dr. Turner Gray. Which is how you knew of Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister. <laughs> Also, after you successfully unlock a Psyche Lock, if you took any damage, it'll he be sure to heal you a bit. Please tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. My... My sister's name was Mimi Miney. She was, like, a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that, like, Dr. Gray was really tough on people. Like, a total slave driver. My sis was, like... Always coming home totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out. So is that why she fell asleep at the wheel? That guy, like, drove my sis so hard, so, like, that's why the accident happened. One where 14 patients died from malpractice? Yeah, like, I think that was the doctor's fault, too. My sis was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So, like, are we done? I've, like, already told my story to, like, everyone. Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a psyche lock works. Well, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. The lock this time was pretty easy, but you might meet people who aren't as willing to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. Alrighty, now that we've cleared up the psyche locks that Eeny Miney had, we've pretty much done everything we can. We've searched everywhere in every room, we've talked to pretty much every person, so there's not much left. Mr. Nick! Hmm? What's wrong? I have never left Karain Village. R really? Wow, that's, um... Pretty amazing. You are going to meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Hey, wait. She ran off. Again. Well, I know Eni's secret now, but I still don't have any idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. Ugh. <sighs> Well, 
What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? That voice! M mia Even without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Mia. She's Maya's older sister, and my mentor. She was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. But, whenever I'm tr in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. Her spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. Phoenix? You can't make that kind of face in front of your client. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, and especially when it's bad. Mia, you can't smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. B but So, tell me about it. I'm gonna guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again? I told her everything about what had happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes, deep in thought, while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. A and that is? P tell me, please! Believe in your convictions and fight for the complete acquittal of your client. Mia. <laughs> wow, this badge brings back a lot of memories, doesn't it? I would love to stand with you at the defense table one more time. Mia. And that's right, I'm already dead. But I feel very grateful to have been born a Fey, so I can talk with you like this. You think Maya's not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is, and I'll give you a hint as to why. Y yes Mediums can't have dreams. Can't have dreams? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah, she said that she dreamt that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium channels, her own spirit disappears. Which means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then... What does this mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. A set up? It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and show how she was set up. How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. It, it is? Just as it sounds, Phoenix. You already hold the key. Really? Come on. Show me the key to this case. The key, huh? Alright. I'll show it to her. The key I hold. The actual key that we have. The black key. Mia, have you seen this key before? Ah, the key. It's literally the key to understanding everything that's happened in this case. This key? Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However, it shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to this case is. That is enough. B but But how could I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who who could have At the time I didn't know. 
but this day was going to end with a turn for the surprising. M Mia? W what? What's wrong? That's right. Only I can see the psyche locks. Which means... Mia must know something about the real murderer. But for this to be something that she would hide under lock and key from even me... What in the world is going on? <laughs>